Okay, so today I'm going to show you what I did. And I actually made um, hydrogen peroxide gel. Yes, I have made hydrogen peroxide gel. And I actually have a testing too videos. And I actually made another bonus footage video too. But before I go into the testing and the bonus footage, I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I stored them in here. And you only add 10% of the gel in. And look what it does. It's a clear liquid gel. See it? Clear liquid. And the why are we doing this? Is because that way it stays in our hand longer. So it can kill the virus. Or bacteria. As far as I know, it kills bacteria. Because I do have a testing video next. But the secret to that is to leave it on here for enough time. And as an average, you need at least, at least 30 seconds or more in order for things to die. And if you, once I give you that video, I'm putting on some more. See how it runs? Because it's a gel form. And remember too, um, you make this as you go. You don't make it all the time. Like you don't make it in a big container. Because hydrogen peroxide, you can't do that. Once you mix it, you have a certain amount of time. That's it. And also you have to wrap this um, in a, um, a tin foil. And that's what it comes like. I'll show you, I'll open it up and I'll actually show you what it looks like. It is really awesome. See that? It's a gel. You know? Yep. I have developed hydrogen peroxide gel. This is for the people on the go. And if there's enough interest in it, I will make it. Make my time worth it, I guess, right? But if there's not enough interest in I'm not going to make it. But anyway, very easy to do. Just two ingredients and a jar to shake. That's it. Sorry, this is not a clear container, but that's clear as I can get. This is um, light right there. And then, um, now... I'm going to give you the uh, test footage, and then after that, I'm going to give you the bonus footage, okay? Okay, we're going to come to the test here. This is probably the best place we're going to test it with. I'm sorry for the shakiness of the thing. Okay, I'm going to shake it, and see how that is? See how it's bubbling? I know it's a lot, but you can see it bubbling up. That means it's working. I'm going to try to see if I can go down. So you see that? Tons of bubbles now. There you go. I'm going to leave it like that for a little bit. There you go. You can see a bunch of bubbles. That means the hydrogen peroxide is working. I'm going to leave it for a little bit. So you guys can see more. I'm going to go further in. Look at that. Okay, I think that's enough testing, but I'm gonna leave it a little bit more for I know the light kind of stinks. I'm sorry. I can't I'm, I'm dealing with a flashlight here, but you can see it right there. Oh, there we go. There we go There we go Hope the camera will focus, but you can see all that white stuff Now remember this is the second treatment. I did the first treatment to see if it worked and it worked so I did the second treatment and there's still bacteria in there. So that means uh, all that white stuff, that's bacteria dying right there. Okay. Other than that, that's about it. Okay, so I made a, an extra footage range here. And I hope you guys can see. See how much bubbles down there? All that white bubbles. I know, I'm sorry about the... I have the LED here, and that's all I can get. 
but you can see right there that's testing from the sink a uh, sink right here because I knew that's the best place for germs so I figured I made an extra bonus footage here that's underneath if you notice up top here see the gel up top since there's no germ up here it didn't turn white you see that because up here there's no germs but down there we know germs is living down there and that's why I squirt down there and you can look at it oh wow look close up you see all that white stuff remember before there was no white stuff that means there's no bubbles before but now there is see that and hold that so the camera will pick up hold that again so the camera can pick up but you look around here there's no white stuff even though the gel is there the gel is there but there's no white stuff that means there's no germs but down there there's germs and bacteria so it turns the gel into white see that so now we know that the gel works and that is to assure that the gel would work at least for germs okay other than that that's about it